Richard Southern joins us now to chat about some of the day's top business stories. Richard, it looks like the General Motors strike south of the border is finally coming to an end. And Pfizer, this has been the longest U.S. labor strike in decades. But yeah, today General Motors and the union representing workers say they've reached a tentative deal to end that strike by nearly 50,000 hourly General Motors workers. It's stretched on for nearly five weeks. Job security, health benefits, and profit sharing were the big sticking points, though the union won't say exactly what this uh, agreement entails. This actually really affected GM workers here in Ontario. Uh, some of them were temporary, temporarily laid off uh, because the supply chain was disrupted. It's a big backup uh, effect. Uh, FISA General Motors, they say that this strike may have costed them $2 billion. So a very uh, pricey uh, labor disruption, which again might be set to come to an end soon. Mm -hmm. So we've heard plenty of talk about job creation during this election campaign. But Richard, you're looking at which prime ministers have actually had the most success in that area. Yeah, uh, we looked at the, the last seven PMs as far as the annual average employment growth was concerned. Uh, that first column is Pierre Elliott uh, Trudeau, 2.9% annual pace of job creation for him. Leading the way, though, is that second blue column, which is Joe Clark, uh, who created uh, or th saw 3.7 percent uh, job creation at an annual pace during his very short time uh, as uh, prime minister. Uh, Justin Trudeau, the current liberal leader, kind of towards the bottom at 0.9 percent. But when you look at the unemployment rate, uh, Mr. Uh, Justin Trudeau is actually has provided presided over the FISA, the lowest unemployment rate in 50 years. It currently stands at five and a half percent. So whether or not that helps them uh, come Monday, we'll have to see. But, you know, with the race expected to be tight, these sort of uh, economic issues could loom very large when voters uh, go to cast their ballot. Definitely. Only a couple days away from that. Yeah. And the economy in Canada not doing too bad. The stock market's near a record high. We don't see Mr. Trudeau taking credit for that like Trump takes credit for the stock market. But it'll be interesting to see if that factors into voters' minds. OK, Richard, this one I do have some questions about. They're popping up uh, in stores across the city. But it turns out there's a major downside for businesses that install these automated checkout machines. So you know the deal, Faisi. you got to, you know, scan the items and bag them yourself. Do you like this or not like this? Oh, yeah. It's my favorite part. Really? So yep. You were telling me earlier you actually talked to the machine. Yes, I, I say thank you every single time. Does it talk back to you? Never, but okay. you know, she, she does the job. That's all that matters. So these are a little polarizing, these machines. But you know what? It turns out now, a new study finds that for many of us, usually law-abiding citizens, we turn into thieves around these machines, FISA. On average, 4% of products that pass through the self-checkout are stolen compared to just 1.5% at your traditional checkout with a human being. What's more, 72% of shoplifters uh, admitted that these self-checkout machines made stealing very, very easy. Stores are cluing into that, though. Some of them now installing video machines that have artificial intelligence that can automatically spot people who fake scan something and can sort of, uh, you know, flag an actual human for that. Still, FISA, uh, the stores say people actually tend to spend more on these self-checkout machines so they can actually withstand the, 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 any theft because people tend to spend more when nobody's looking, you see. Can you, we not you're not have, embarrassed, as Can we were. not have anything nice anymore? <laughs> I like a human being. I'm weird like that. I don't want to do the job of someone. I like to go to the actual human being at the checkout. I know, but sometimes I buy embarrassing things. You know, I shove it in the bag real quick and I make my way out. So. That's why the people spend more because nobody's looking. You can buy the three pounds of bacon or whatever it is. Nobody's <laughs> going to cast an eye at that because it's just a machine pie. So. I do have to say, though, you know, uh, Shoppers Drug Mart sometimes, I, that's where I always see my girl. And sometimes I do think about not adding that little plastic bag. I'm like, it's five cents. She what does is it talk. Do? She says, thank you. Thank you, Pfizer, for shopping. <laughs> I bet they're going to keep a close eye on me now, so <laughs> I better not say anything. Uh, no sticky fingers. No sticky fingers. Never. All right. So a quick look at gas prices, Richard. Some of the other stories will be bringing us a bit later on in the show. Good news. The price of gas set to fall. Two cents coming up at midnight tonight. And do stay tuned because just after 630, I want to play you a clip that's gone viral from Wheel of Fortune that will have you talking for sure coming up on City News, Liza. Looking forward to that. Thanks, Richard. We'll talk to you again in, in the next hour. Thanks.